Hi, this is Mohammed Shakil here and uh, here I'm going to guide you through the assembly of a junction stop valve in Kitia V5. So we are almost halfway done and uh, this is the third part of this uh, particular tutorial series. And uh, the next part that you need to insert over here is going to be the collar step. So I'll go to insert existing component with positioning and uh, the collar stud is right here and I'll give the uh, coincidence and click on OK and uh, I'll use the edit more manipulate on the z-axis I'm going to pull it up and the next thing you need to do is insert contact Use the contact constraint over there, and uh, you need to insert the same component once again. The collar stud, and use the contact constraint here. the mechanism so we have uh, this much of our assembly being done here and on top of that you're going to insert the uh, what you call the bridge so I'll go to insert existing component with positioning the bridge and uh, you're going to coincide that uh, with this particular here and you're going to manipulate and uh, I'm going to coincide this axis is also so it will be already coincident but still I'm coinciding because later you don't have to have any kind of uh, you know troubles while in the assembly or simulation part so you have uh, this much of your assembly being done here and uh, one more thing you need to insert over here is a hex nut of M30. So I'll go to insert existing component with positioning hex nut of M30. So once you're done with that, uh, move, manipulate and do the same step that is the contact constraint and uh, you're done with one part do the same step M30 and uh, use the manipulate tool bring this up insert contact constraint do the contact update so you're uh, done with this much of your part and now let's see uh, which other part you can insert here so I'm going to insert the top spindle the top spindle is uh, somewhere over here and let me just do the coincident so it's going to have this kind of slot here <coughs> so make sure that slot is coming down and I'll do the, the manipulate for this I think the coincidence constraint was not created for this. So I'll uh, do the coincidence. And then I'll do the coincidence for this particular part here and this portion here. And I'll update the mechanism and it's going to stay exactly over there. And you can uh, insert the quarter over there 
So insert existing component for the positioning. The carter. And you're going to uh, selected the top you need to select the axis for this so it's going to be a little bit difficult to find the axis exact axis of this and use the constant constraint once again on that and uh, find the axis and place it so let me just uh, remove this particular part here if you're facing problem like this just delete the part <coughs> go to insert existing component with positioning quarter once again and this time just select this face and this face and you have the uh, exact assembly over there exact one so we're going to delete this and then I'm going to the contact constraint I'm going to select this and I'm going to select this as I do the update This is really a mess over here. And update this <coughs> and it stays properly. So sometimes it uh, creates some you know disturbance like this. So it doesn't matter. Continue your uh, assembly process. a little bit on this side okay and it stays properly so keep watching to do the complete assembly of uh, our uh, you know junction stop valve I hope you enjoyed my video thank you so much for watching